welcome to my Vogue video. I'm going to show you guys on my makeup and skincare routine. I'm going to do more of a night out makeup look. So what I would use if I was going on a date or it's basically what I would do it for. So I'm going to first take my micellar water and then a cotton pad. I usually do this in the morning and at night. The morning I do it for like more like dirt and oil and then at night I do it for like getting rid of my makeup. So I put this all around my face, get all the dirt, oil, sweat off my face. And also I don't have a robe or I would use one. Now I take my foaming facial cleanser from CeraVe. Before I do that, I put on my little skincare like headband. I think it is adorable and it just makes my hair get out of my face. I rub my face first. I'm gonna take like a pump of this and I put it around my hands and make it soapy. And I just distribute it all around my face. And I wash it off. Now I go in with my serum. This is by Earth Harbor. I take about like three drops on my face. I put one on my forehead, one on my left cheek, one on my right cheek, and then I just blend it in. And this feels so smooth and silky on my face. And then I go in with my favorite moisturizer. This is by Neutrogena and it's the oil-free moisture combination skin. I usually take one pump of this and distribute it around my face. Okay, now that we're all moisturized, I take out my headband. I also take this lip scrub that I make on my Etsy and I scrub my lips with it. And it tastes so good. Now it's time to do my makeup. So this is a more of a full glam moment for you guys. So I always use primer before I put on any makeup. This is the Cover FX Gripping and Firming Primer. I put a good amount on there just so I can distribute it around my face since I will be going in with foundation. And this is a very tacky primer but it's supposed to really grip and stick your foundation onto your face now that the primer is on i'm going to use my favorite foundation it is the l'oreal infallible foundation and it has sunscreen in it which makes me happy i usually use a sponge when i put foundation on just like that and i'll distribute it around my face I really got into makeup when I was like in middle school. I remember my mom would like help me with it and I'm, I was just obsessed ever since. But I learned throughout like college that I don't necessarily need it to feel beautiful. I more do it now just to enhance my face and just to be creative with it because I've learned that I need to accept who I am and that I'm beautiful without makeup. I think we can really get caught up in the perfect body, the perfect skin on social media. And I think it's really good for everyone to know your worth, know what that Social media is not everything. I actually cut back on social media because I think it was getting pretty toxic. I try to avoid drama as much as I can. So I've really just been focusing on YouTube, not so much like Instagram and TikTok. I mean, I still post on there. I don't like to scroll hours and hours on end because I know I'll just get in a rut of comparing myself to others. Now I'm just gonna use um, a brush and like smooth it out. Just make sure I like 
distributed all of it around my face. Now I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I have the shade Fair Rose. And I'm gonna do what they do for TikTok, like right here and then right at the outside of my eye. So it has that look of that you lifted your eyes. I've always loved the Vogue videos, like especially like the 73 questions types of videos and also like the makeup ones. And I'll leave the person that came up with this video up here or over there, I don't know. Because I found this idea from her and it's honestly a really good video because I know I would never be on a Vogue video. I have really dark under eyes because I have like really dark veins that go right through under my eyes so it really is hard to cover up like the blue veins. Now I go into a powder and I use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder and I'm just going to put it where I get oily the most and then I'm also going to set my under eye with it. Now I'm gonna take the Benefit Cosmetics. It's the Party Like a Flock Star palette. I'm gonna use the two bronzers, the Hula Light and the Hula. I'm just gonna mix them. Now I'm gonna use my favorite blush of all time. This is by Honest Beauty and it's their Rose Pink Blush. It's a cream blush and it is so cute. It's very dark, but it goes on so smoothly. I just like press into it and coat the brush and kind of put it on my palm so I don't get like see. It's really cute, but I don't want all that blush on my skin. And I kind of do it higher up. Then I take this Ofra highlight and it's the Convenient Convent Garden. I don't know if I'm saying this right, but it's a pretty, like, shiny pink. And then I take this Morphe brush and put it at my inner corner on my cupid's bow, a little bit on my nose, and then just a little bit. Then for my eyebrows, I use this spoolie from It Cosmetics. It's just a tiny one. And then I use this mini Benefit Guinea Brow. I need to purchase the like the full size, shape my brows how I want them, and then I go in with this. And then I'm gonna use the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. And these like steps and products I'm using works for me. It might not work for you, you guys, but I found this just works for my skin. Now I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow palette. It's by Beauty Bakery and it's proof is in the pudding. I'm gonna take this Morphe brush and I'm gonna go into rice pudding. I'm not the best at eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take this firmer brush in 201 and then I'm going to go Nana Pudding. Now I'm going to go into Bread Pudding with the same brush. I'm going to go into my Laura Geller Cinnamon and Spice palette and I'm actually going to use this pink shade called Frosted Sugar. Hello. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara of all time, and you probably all saw this on like TikTok, but this is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. It is honestly the best drugstore mascara. finished my mascara and now I'm gonna do my lips 
I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lip Crayon in Strawberry Glaze. And I'm just going to basically go over my lips like it's a lip liner because I don't really use lip liners. Then I'm going to take the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. And then I'm going to take some setting spray. I don't necessarily like this, but I this is like the only setting spray I have. It's the Pacifica Crystal Dew setting spray. And it's very harsh. It's not like a mist or anything. So I really hold it back and like just let it fall on me. Because it literally is like this. It's really bad. But let that soak in. Okay guys, so thank you guys so much for watching my Vogue video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This isn't a very typical video I do, but I really want to get into more makeup and skincare for you guys. So let me know down in the comments below. I really had a lot of fun doing this and shout out to the girl that came up with this idea. I think it's awesome. And I just really like it pretending that I was on a Vogue video. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you get notified when I upload next. And don't forget to like this video and let me know down in the comments below what other videos you would want me to do on my channel. And without that, I'll let you guys go. Have a great day. Remember, God is good and I love you guys all so much. Bye guys.